Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with the R. Halissa Killer, a.k.a. Sonya B. So I am back with several different prophetic messages. I do want to say if you feel like you're being divinely guided to listen to the very end, obviously there's a message that could be here for you. And if it's not pertaining to you, it could be a message that's pertaining to somebody else who is within your immediate environment. But please only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest if they don't, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the message, okay? So on May 27th, I received a message through song. For those of you who do not know, I'm like in tune with music. Divine Spirit like gives me information through music as well too, okay? So the song that came through was by Billy Ocean, Suddenly, okay? Um, it's like the part that stood out the most was suddenly life has a new meaning to me, okay? So for some of you guys, it's going to be different. It could be a situation of needing to move. It could be a situation of love. It could be a situation of friendship. It could be a situation of a job. It could be a situation of exploring something totally new, okay? Um, but it's going to be different for everyone. But you might want to go listen to that song and let it speak to you. And, you know, if you already know, that's fine too. But if not, listen to that song and maybe it'll speak to you even more. Um, another song that came through much later in the day was Whitney Houston's song. And it was the song of I Found Out, okay? So it's almost like people are having these revelations in the sense of what's been missing within their life, okay? Whether it's a person, a job, a place, um, people in a sense. Or, you know, it's different for everybody or just something that maybe you need to let go of or something that maybe you need to embrace is going to be different for everyone okay so take the message how it resonates and i also received a message too that some people it's almost like they're kind of concealing what it is that they want to um it's almost like they're trying to conceal in a sense of what they want to try to create in a sense but it's almost like um trying to conceal they have some important information that they need to tell somebody but they have not told anybody yet okay anyway take that how it resonates um this other message came through um I, I got the feeling too as well that some of you guys are being spiritually spiritually it's almost like god is protecting some of you guys spiritually okay this message may not be for everyone if i'm saying that obviously that's coming to mind but some of you guys are being protected spiritually and you're being protected spiritually by other people who possibly may be trying to pursue you in a sense, okay? And I say all that to say because there are some divine masculines who have not done exactly what it is that God has asked them to do in a sense. And it's almost like um, there are other pursuers in a sense um, who are kind of on standby who are just like, well, okay, I'll step in, Lord. I'll step in if, you know, this individual doesn't, in a sense, okay? Like, if he doesn't step up to the plate, I'll step in. Um, that's kind of like what, how I was getting it, because it's almost like, God is almost like, it was almost like an X, like, keeping somebody from getting into something, blocking them from something, in a sense. And it's almost like God has given this person an opportunity to change their mindset, to change their patterns, to, to change their habits, to change their repetitive cycles that they have been in for whatever situation that it was. But this situation was pertaining to like money, in a sense, okay? So it's almost like there was there's another person who was willing to come through, uh, step in, help out, and provide, where God was like, nope, hold on. Let me see what this other person is going to do, okay? So that's just the way I saw it, to see if they were going to kind of get out of their own way, to get out of their own habits, and to get out of uh, generational cycles, in a sense, is just what I just heard, okay? And this other message came through on the 29th of May, okay? And I received this message, and this message is about food, okay? So I was just told that some of you guys are eating shitty foods. I have to say it for how it is. Don't shoot the messenger. But in particular, I know this message was for an individual person in a sense, but it could be, but also I'm telling to deliver this message could it also be, could be, could be, could be, excuse me, y'all. It's pertaining to possibly some other people as well too, that God wants you to kind of clean up your eating habits, okay? I can't tell you what to eat, but I can definitely tell you this. If you guys do not know, I have actually seen, because God had actually revealed it to me. I was like, oh, so that's how that works. On this spiritual journey, God will reveal things to you that you didn't necessarily know before. Like, for instance, when you smell the foods, you know, in the air, it's almost like they're compelling you to kind of come into their restaurant, in a sense, okay? But anyway, I don't want to get into that long story or whatever, but... Uh, I did a prophetic message on that some time ago. So you guys are going to have to be mindful of that as well, too. It's going to either be mind over matter, in a sense, or allow other people to persuade you, in a sense, okay? So again, I'm not here to tell you what to eat, what not to eat. I'm just delivering the message, okay? Um, the next message that came through was, some of you guys, it's almost like the wealth is about... Uh, 
the wealth has already transferred, okay? So I say all that to say it's almost like if you were someone who was kind of giving somebody money earlier on, it's almost like that that role is going to switch in a sense, okay? So don't be surprised if that ends up happening, okay? For whatever shape or form or whatever reason and why that it happens, okay? And I do want to tell you guys this too because I received this message also too. I received this message, I believe it was on Friday, and I heard Spirit saying so loud. I heard... I heard Spirit saying so loud, it was like, um, I heard the word cancer and I heard, and I'm not, I'm not sure if that's cancer season or if that's in the dis-ease of cancer, should I say, which I don't wish that on anyone in a sense, um, but something possibly happening during cancer season i wasn't given any details i just heard the word cancer okay so i was like okay lord what are you talking about you know be a little bit more detail in a sense he just kind of left it open so i can't do anything but i'm just kind of like here just to kind of give the warning in a sense so the word cancer again i don't know if this is cancer season or if this is the situation of in uh um dis-ease okay within the body so be mindful of that too and that could be part of the reason why the most high is just kind of warning people in regards to food and just other things in a sense i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm just saying what i'm just hearing so just be mindful of that okay but i did also hear ego too during that same time so be mindful of that as well too of just being in your ego and not wanting to let go of your ego in a sense of uh, because sometimes ego just comes from a place of wanting to control the situation wanting to um have things to go your way and not necessarily conforming to the most high's will okay so we have to be mindful of that as well too so for, i guess i'm just saying okay anyway but um so let's move on so the next message i received some of you guys may be uh Either you may be doing this spiritually or you may be doing this physically. You could be running into someone who is actually famous in a sense, okay? Yeah, could be running into someone who's actually famous or someone who's in the spotlight in some sort of way, okay? Anyway, this next message came through was some of you guys may be dealing with a situation that the Most High is asking you to clear your mindset from the past in a sense. Uh, could have been something that happened to you from your childhood, growing up, whatever, okay? But something about is needing to clear that energy out because when you clear that energy out, when you figure out what it is and what the problem is, you're able to clear out that energy. As you clear out that energy, you're able to make space for, you know, more energy to come in that's fresh, that's new, with a new perspective, a new mindset, okay? Rather than holding on to an old mindset. And this other message came through and it was like, it's almost like... <laughs> It's almost like God was calling somebody ugly in a sense, okay? Because it's almost like, okay, so the way it came through is like this. So let's just say that maybe to someone else's eyes, somebody may not be attractive, okay? And to, you know, but their body is desirable in a sense, okay? So I say all that to say it's almost like they're not necessarily desirable, but their body parts are in a sense. So I saw, I say all that to say that somebody was kind of admiring somebody, saying that they wasn't desirable looking, but but their hips and so on was pretty nice in a sense. So be mindful of that type of mindset. You know, that's superficial thinking in a sense, okay? Um, just kind of going after somebody because of their assets or whatever, because you end up finding yourself being disappointed in the long run, okay? Especially when your intentions aren't good. Anyway, so on this morning, I received the message and God was like, no shortcut, period. He had given me this dream before as well, too, um, when it was like he was saying no shortcuts. So if you think that you're going to take shortcuts on this journey, it's not happening. OK, and I say all that to say, because even myself at once upon a time, I thought I was not intentionally, but I thought I was taking a shortcut, didn't realize that I was actually doing this in a sense and god was like no uh, -uh honey we're not doing that okay so i say all that to say that if you are someone who is in the mindset of thinking that you're going to either do something to like uh let's just say hypothetically um like if you think that you're going to use somebody else in the process to help you gain to get where it is that you're going to go that's not happening okay because it's only it's only going to end up backfiring on you okay 
Anyway, so I say all that to say that if you think that uh, you're going to take a shortcut and think that God is going to allow you to just, um, trust me, God, God is so much smarter than that, okay? And I say all that to say that we got to stop. There's so much that we, that I did not know even myself about God in general until I actually took this path. Just my relationship with him alone, it's like, wow, it's almost like before I thought I actually knew God, it was like, no, I was limiting myself because as I was reading the Bible, so many things, and I kept saying, Lord, this is like, sound like it's conflicted. It sounds like it's conflicted. Now I learned to read the Bible differently in a sense and not believe necessarily everything that I read that is in there in a sense, because remember, man has had some part in that, but you have to be able to discern what is real and what is not real, okay? Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end that there. So just remember that there are no shortcuts on this journey. Everybody will be required to walk from a through z meaning like every single alphabet that the most high takes you through you'll be required to experience every single thing that you was meant to experience and there will not be any other way okay but let me give you this message as well too before i get ready to go interesting that tom says three 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 so i say all that to say uh hold on uh it says in First Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17, for the Lord himself will descend from the heavens with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel and with the sound of the trumpet. Okay. I remember, uh, 2018 in the month of June. So this is going on five years. Okay. 2018 in the month of June. I remember when me and my kids had to kind of go down to my spouse's apartment because him and I were separated in a sense. And it's like because our hot water heater went out at the house. So, you know, the guys couldn't come out until Monday to fix it, you know, through the um, the warranty people or whatever. So we had to go down there to take showers, right? <laughs> so I say all that to say that, um, not to give you too much business, but I say all that to say we was down in his apartment. And next thing you know, we was just sitting there kind of like uh, getting our showers in. And it's like I heard this sound and it went just like this. I looked at my daughter and I was like, did you hear that? And then my spouse was saying, hear what? I said, that sound, it sounded like a trumpet or whatever. And my daughter said, yeah, she heard it. And he said, yeah, I hear that all the time. And I thought to myself, and that's your reaction? You hear that all the time and you ignore it? Because <laughs> I thought to myself, I was like, oh my God. Like, I knew that that was like the tr trumpet of like the most high in a sense. So to hear that, I was like really excited. I was like, oh my God. Like, so that's a calling, okay? That was nothing more than the most high calling, okay? But anyway, so as it said, um, with the loud voice of the archangels, with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first, okay? So those who, of us who have been dead in Christ, in a sense, it's almost like they will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet with the Lord in the air. And so we will all be with the Lord. So this does not mean that we're leaving this earthly plane, y'all. So this does not mean that our lives are ending, okay? Although there may be some people who may be expiring from this earth, but there may be some people that does not mean, that's not what that means, okay? It's just basically saying that the Most High is going to call us and it's up to us whether we answer that call or not, okay? I don't know if you guys ever seen that movie kind of like Left Behind in a sense. You know, uh, I used to watch those movies back Back in the days where all the people's clothes was left behind well it's not that situation okay it's just the situation of the most high is calling you and say hey you know come to me in a sense i want you to come back to me okay i want you to come back to your your roots of who you are who you were meant to be you know um who i made you to be in a sense and not who the world has told you that you are okay so i say all that to say that there's almost like a coming home a rebirth in a it's like a death and a rebirth not you literally dying okay but it's just you being renewed okay you've been renewed in christ okay so that's the only way that i can kind of explain that but anyway but if you guys need any assistance on your journey you guys can just go to my website if you feel free to if you've been called to anyway so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and oh actually no i'm sorry real quick before i go because spirit is just reminding me that there was one more verse that i actually had the other day give me one second y'all Okay, so this one was Psalms 103, 17 and 8. It says, be the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting to those who fear him, okay? And his righteousness to children's children. 
Okay? So, I don't know about y'all, but I know I want my kids to be protected when I leave this earthly plane, okay? That's why I make it a point to do what it is I need to do so that my kids are good, okay? Uh, anyway, in his righteousness to his children and his children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments, okay? Do his commandments, do his will, however you want to refer to it. You know, um, I say all that to say get on your spiritual path in a sense. But uh, as I said before, this is the most high just asking you to basically trust him and come back home to him, okay? And I have this one last one, and this is Romans 12, 15, and it says, Rejoice with those who rejoice Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep, okay? So I say all that to say that, you know, um, for those of you, oh, I'm sorry. It's one last one, Jeremiah 119. Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger, okay? So with that being said, because when we're angry, we make decisions based off our heart space at that particular time. And therefore, if there's where the envy, the jealousy, the, the resentment, and everything else comes in, and we're rushing, we rush into evil and not realize what it is that we're doing, you know, having unrational thinking is just what I just heard, okay? So we have to be mindful of that and check ourselves of that, okay? And this is why the Most High is dealing with a lot of us to have us to purge so much stuff that has not been serving us, okay? Because these are just things, uh, coping mechanisms that we have basically just allowed ourselves to um, take on in order for us to, to survive due to our inner trauma and our inner woundings that we have experienced throughout life our, ourselves, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end that there, but I wish you all much love, much light until the next message. Bye.